In this webinar, we will learn how to understand fees and treatment plan estimates. The following items will be covered. Insurance setup and fee schedule logic, updating fees, procedure estimates, downgrades, and frequency and age limitations. To start, we're going to take a look at our insurance setup as well as fee schedule logic. We come into the family module here, we can see this patient's insurance. We double click, we can see this patient has a PPO percentage insurance plan. PPO percentage plans are in-network insurance plans that will track write-offs. We also have additional options for category percentage. A category percentage plan is generally going to be an out-of-network insurance plan and there will be no write-offs tracked. For a PPO percentage plan, we will want to include our fee schedule for the allowed fees for this insurance in the top box here, just right next to fee schedule. If this were in fact a category percentage plan and we did have the allowed fee schedule, we would make sure to select none here. And down towards the bottom, we would select our carrier allowed, carrier allowed amount right below under the other fee schedules. If the fee schedule is selected here, this will charge out just the lower allowed fee rather than the office fee. So this is not what we would want to do for an out of network plan. In this case, we'll mark this back to PPO percentage, check our Delta fee schedule and move this carrier allowed amount at the bottom down to none. If your patient does have co-pays for procedure, this can also be selected right here under other fee schedules and that will be accounted for in any insurance estimates. There are also additional insurance plans which can be set up in Open Dental, including Medicaid, HMO, and DMO plans, as well as PPO fixed benefit plans. In this webinar, we'll mostly be talking about PPO percentage and category percentage plans as those are the most common. If we go back to our treatment plan module, up at the top, we have a button that says update fees. This button will allow you to update the fees on just one particular patient's active or inactive treatment plans if fees have been updated in the fee schedule itself. When updating fees in the fee schedule, the treatment plan procedures that were already existing will not be affected. However, you can use the update fees tool here to update fees just on a single patient. And if you go into list procedure codes and fee tools, there is also a global update tool, which will allow you to update the fees for all active or inactive treatment plans for all patients. That being said, updating fees again will only affect active or inactive plans. It will not affect saved plans as saved plans are meant to be a historical record of presented treatment or treatment plans which were created in the past that you would like to have a record of. Back on an active treatment plan here, we can see we have estimates on the procedures themselves. However, if we double click a procedure here, you can also see a breakdown of the entire insurance estimate down here towards the bottom. If we double click here, you can see up at the top, we have our office or UCR fee that is being billed out. There is a carrier allowed amount, and this shows the fee schedule, which the fee is being taken from. And then it shows the allowed fee right below. If there is any patient copay, that would be shown here. It indicates any deductible being applied to this procedure, the insurance coverage percentage, what is being paid by other insurance. This is more often going to populate on secondary insurance. You wouldn't see a number here for any primary insurance. You can also see a base estimate here, which is the insurance estimate when not accounting for an annual max or deductible. And then we can see the insurance estimate right below, as well as the write-off estimate and the estimated patient portion. These estimates are all based off of the fees which you have entered into the fee schedules in Open Dental. However, if a change needs to be made, if the allowed fee has been changed for this insurance or there is in fact, say, a patient copay on this procedure and you haven't entered a copay fee schedule yet, you can enter and override 
these numbers manually. If we put a $10 copay on this procedure and click OK, you can see that's now been reflected here. And if we go back to the treatment plan, the estimates have been updated as well. The insurance estimate is going to be based off of the build fee minus any write-off, which would be your build fee minus the allowed fee. In this case, there's a write-off of $106 because the allowed fee is $120. The insurance estimate when accounting for a deductible or a copay would be based off of the allowed fee minus any deductible minus any copay insurance would cover 80% of that remaining amount and the remaining 20% would go towards patient portion so the patient portion would include any copay deductible as well as the remaining percentage that insurance will not be covering if there is a procedure which is not normally billed to insurance or this particular insurance does not cover the procedure and do not require that you bill it to them we can double click on the procedure and mark that as do not bill to insurance and click OK we can now see that we have the office fee there is no allowed amount no insurance estimates there is still a calculated write-off and then there is the patient portion here which is your office fee minus the write-off, their remaining balance goes towards the patient. You will also run into situations where there may be a downgrade. For this particular insurance, downgrades are turned off. However, if we come back to the insurance plan and go to other insurance info, we can uncheck this do not substitute codes and click OK. And going back to our chart, if we downgrade composite fillings and go back to the treatment plan module, we can now see here that these two procedures have an X in the substitution column to indicate that this insurance downgrades and pays based off of a lower rate. In this case, the insurance does not cover at the composite rate, they cover at the amalgam rate. If we double click on the procedure here, and double click on our estimate, you're going to see you have the office fee up at the top. The office fee is still going to be the fee for the non-downgraded procedure. In this case, that's the composite filling. However, the allowed amount here is going to be for the downgraded procedure. And the patient will be responsible for the difference between the allowed fee on the non-downgraded procedure and the allowed fee on the downgraded procedure. So you will still have a write-off between the office fee of the non-downgraded procedure and the allowed fee of the non-downgraded procedure. However, the patient will be responsible for the difference between the allowed fee of those two procedures. Apart from that, the calculation is much the same as a non-downgraded procedure. Insurance will be covering 80% of this allowed fee. The patient will be responsible for the remaining 20%, and this patient portion will be that remaining percentage plus the difference between the allowed fees of the two procedure codes. Substitution codes can be found by going back to the family module and double clicking the insurance plan going to the other insurance info tab. Right here we have substitution codes. You can see these substitution codes towards the bottom are applicable to all insurance plans. They are just defaults and then up at the top we also have a substitution code specific to this insurance plan. If an insurance plan does not actually downgrade their procedures you can check this don't substitute codes box and when you go back to your treatment plan you won't see that substitution and then all estimates will be based off of the fee for the procedure that has been charted and no downgrade. 
if we go back to our treatment plan module, you'll see that a couple of these procedures here show a frequency limitation. In this case, this patient has only one bite wing per year covered by their insurance and they have already had that completed. However, we have a second one that has been treatment planned here. So you'll see still charging out the office fee, your allowed fee is 35%. While insurance normally covers this procedure at 100%, this patient is reaching a frequency limitation, which we can see here under the estimate note. So Open Dental is not calculating any insurance portion. Um, it is still calculating a write-off discount and the patient is responsible for that entire allowed fee. This would also be the same for any procedures which have an age limitation. If this procedure had an age limitation of 14 and the patient is now 15, you would see an age limitation and something similar would happen where you would see the allowed fee, there would be no insurance portion, there is still a write-off discount if applicable, and then the patient is responsible for the remaining balance. And Open Dental will calculate frequency limitations based off how they are put in the insurance plan here. So as we can see, we have our bite wing frequency is once every year. In this case, the patient has already had a bite wing, which is why we're seeing this bite wing limitation. If we take a look over to the right, we have this estimates as of date. If in fact the patient's not going to have these bite wings done until next year, when their benefits reset, we can move this estimates as of date out to the following year or whenever these procedures are expected to be completed. And then you can see that frequency limitation is now gone. This can come in handy, especially when you're coming towards the end of a benefit year and you're getting procedures treatment planned. If the patient isn't going to be having the procedures done within the same benefit year, but they have had those procedures done and are reaching a frequency limitation or reaching their annual max for the year. And it's showing that here you can move this estimates as of date to view what the estimated insurance portions would be once those benefits have reset. And we can quickly move that back to today and it will show the insurance estimates based off of today's date and what has been used so far and what frequency limitations have been met. There are links to additional resources that can be found in the video description of this webinar.